we are unveiling uh, an artwork uh, which I think is a masterpiece. And for the first time in public, we'll be unveiling this artwork that is behind us. And of course, the artist is sitting right next to me, is Roshan Dangol. He is actually uh, a very famous artist, but a lot of the Nepalese people don't know of him. But his artwork is already uh, his artwork is already in some of the museums in Europe. Uh, and another thing that we were, we are celebrating today is uh, just a couple of days ago, Mona turned three. Yeah. Oh, wow. so, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's been a very interesting journey for us, and we we feel that we have so many more years that we're going to be putting into it. Not only in my lifetime, but I would want to pass on to the future generations. Doesn't only mean my family, but the future generation of Nepal for something to be proud of. Uh, since the beginning of Mona, my vision and mission for Mona was always about about protecting and pres uh, preserving Nepalese art. Mona is so lucky to have this artwork in the museum and from tomorrow it will be publicly displayed at the museum and uh, so I actually want to, I know this is not a formal program and I really want Felicity to come here and unveil this artwork along with the artist. I thank all of you and I appreciate your time and effort to make this event complete and uh, beautiful this ambient and thank you Razan Dai for each and every effort for uh, the sake of preservation of the Nepalese arts and spending I think more than a year uh, 16 months in uh, Kathmandu Art House finally you know seeing many uh, artworks of the different perspective different artists you know I was firstly very uh, obsessed with uh, realism like uh, how can I make a like very very detailed you know the texture the hair by hair how can I uh, give a, every effort to make a you know the portraits alive but later when I think about the reality is you know the, there is no certain meaning of the what is the reality there are you know everyone have their own version of reality and also the reality I think is the perfect illusion you know uh, you have a certain perspective I, I think you know 70,000 thoughts come into your every human being per day and which thought is you know more valuable so Sometimes, you know, I try to lose myself to paint and you just surrender to the universe or so-called God, you know, whatever. And here also I have, uh, I think, I tried a little bit uh, out of being out of the box, you know, out of my uh, reality, you know. There are, you can see the textures, kind of a sense of uh, abstractions, but the focal point is, uh, you know, what he feels. You know, in the perception of the God, the Krishna, what the love supposed to be to him. When I see the posters, the Krishna is uh, depicted as a very young adult and Radha and they, you know, uh, spending time swinging, uh, playing a flute, kind of that, a very adult thing. But when I read about the Krishna and his sacrifices, you know, and this is one of the very crucial uh, event of his life that he left Vrindavan at the early age of 11. So I try to you know, understand and try to learn about what the love supposed to be uh, for the 11 years old boy, you know. But Radha was 16. So when he left, there was written that they didn't even uh, exchange a single word you know, the, and how you describe love, <laughs> it's a kind of true emotion. So here I have just tried to uh, explain love without words, but with art. So thank you, everyone. And thank you, Rajan Arvind, for letting me speak.
Namaste, I'm Felicity Volk, Australia's Ambassador to Empower. I've just had the privilege of being at an event to launch The Glance by Roshan Dungol. Absolutely fabulous event, a most beautiful work of art. And as always, one of the real gifts of being here has been the opportunity to listen to the artists and to listen to Rajan Shakir about the art. Um, it's a most moving piece and I felt privileged to be among the small crowd of people who had the chance to see it at this unveiling. It'll be in Mona shortly and I recommend you go there and, and see it for yourself. Um, it is alleged to be and I think most likely to be an art history milestone for Nepal, the launch of this particular painting. 34 year old artist and what an extraordinary work, you must come and see it. But the great thing is that we've also had the launch in this fantastic new bar at Kathmandu Guest House. Um, whatever your age, whatever your interests, come here at some point to the bar. The most beautiful views, the panorama of the Himalayas, looking at the hills also of Nagarjun, Shiva Puri, the National Park, beautiful cityscape, fantastic cocktails and a great vibe. I recommend you come here. Thank you. I'm Hugul. I'm an art curator and co-founder of Tulika Kala. Today's uh, event is a very good event. The Mona initiative has been given to art a new platform for the art. It has been given to the audience. But the audience has been given to the what does the art mean to him? understanding in depth understanding in depth and uh, we really enjoyed the event. The thing is, it was very, like a lot of trouble for both of us to reach her actually. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I really hope the painting is nice, right? And this is the first time I'm in, I've been in the unveiling of a painting. Oh, Have you been here? This is the first, this is the first time, yeah. time, right? So like my expectations were like super high and I was like, I hope like it's good. And then I saw the painting and I, I fell in love with the eyes. You took my word. Yeah. It was beautiful, right? Uh -huh. It was so beautiful and I was like, I'm so glad it, that I'm here. It is so realistic. Yeah, it's like, right? It's exactly how a person, when you love somebody, when you look at them and if you catch them in that moment, it's, it captures the essence oh, yeah. of, so of human right? love and it's beautiful. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm very happy that like, I was I got here. to see it. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Yeah.